new license plate for the collection, but it's on there pretty tight. Gotta try to get those uh, bolts off, and I put a little bit of oil on on the nuts, so we'll see if see if they come loose. This is Idaho Falls. About uh, 6,500 feet. Snow's eased up just a little bit. I, uh, I gotta do about 25 more miles to uh, try to find a place where I can eat. The last place was all closed. There was no more food, uh, so I couldn't stay there. I had to. I don't have that much food in my backpack. I haven't eaten in a couple hours, so this is this is kind of hard. Additional thousand feet of climbing, an extra 30 miles, be an extra, or be a 100 mile day today. Uh, so, this is, uh, I'm not really even sure where the summit is. Uh, I think it's just out there somewhere. But, uh, yeah, so, just some light snow right now. It was pretty heavy a minute ago. I'm trying to, trying to beat it get into town before it gets uh, too too snowy sweet I got a ride <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> we got a little uh... so Idaho Department of Transportation pulls over and picks me up Drives me 10 miles to the summit, drops me off at the Montana State Line, the Continental Divide, 6,800 feet. All I gotta do now is coast downhill to, uh, to my next uh, stop, my extra stop. It's, it's light, it's still snowing, but uh, at least it's, it's, uh, it's downhill and I'm 10 miles closer to where I wanna be. Well, I'm about, uh, this is my 15th day. I've, uh, I've ridden 950 miles in the past 14 days. I'm in Dillon, Montana. And uh, stayed in this cabin last night here at the, the KOA in Dillon. Uh, pretty nice to be able to get off the ground and have a heater. Uh, be able to dry out some clothing and relax have Wi-Fi. You can see the it's still windy outside. A couple clouds here and there. Bike's ready to go. <clears throat> Two weeks in and I'm feeling okay. Can't complain. Um, yeah. It's just great to be going so far, so far north, so quickly, and to be covering so much ground. It's, it's a, uh, and there's the wind. I 
I'm doing uh, about 26 miles an hour. The wind's just blowing me right along, right due north. I don't have to do anything. I just kick back, hang out, look around. I'm kind of nervous though. I'm nervous that when I come back this way, when I'm heading south, that the wind's gonna be blowing straight in my face. It's gonna be a lot harder ride coming back. I just, uh, I hope that, 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 that the wind direction will change seasonally and that I'll be coming out of the north when I head home or at least be no wind at all because anything's better than a headwind. But for now, it's fantastic. I don't have to do anything. Another license plate. That's pretty awesome. Ooh. I'm in Butte, Montana, and uh, camping out in the tent again tonight. It's uh, it's a little cold outside. I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Um, but it's not so bad, you know, being in the tent, it's, it's kind of warm. Uh, the nice thing actually though, is I don't think most tents have this, is I actually, I get to watch TV whenever I want, so, um, whenever I feel like it, I can just, uh, turn on the TV and, uh, you know, watch some TV before I go to bed at night. Makes it nice, but uh, yeah, you know, it's not too bad camping in the tent. It gets a little cold, a little, a little loud sometimes, but otherwise I, I don't mind it at all. It's not too bad. All right, good night.